to the Knitting Simmer Plus One Video Podcast. I'm your host, Steph, and this is episode 38, Cable Goodness. <laughs> I hope I'm not offending anyone on my little Christmassy theme around here. You can see this is the um, multicolored tree <laughs> that Steve got for Roland and put in the backyard. Um, <laughs> And it's on pretty much 24 hours a day. Yeah, and the little one, he'll walk around, he'll see it, <gasps> and then it goes back to what he's doing. So really, it's it's all for him. It has nothing to do with either of the others in this house. <laughs> um, it is December 10th. I hope you are having a great time doing your Christmas knitting. I am sitting here looking at some cabled goodness, as I called it. This was... Um, Rollins, I don't know if it was a Thanksgiving gift or a belated birthday present, but this is the sweater that his grand knit for him. So um, she was so funny. She sent me like 15 emails, I swear. Okay, what's the size of the chest on his favorite sweater? What's the length? What's the length of the arms? Like I kept pulling out sweaters and measuring them. So, and she actually ended up casting on, I believe, for the 26 or 28 inch chest. And right now he wears a 24 inch sweatshirt and that's really loose on him. He's like a 2T, so that's the equivalent. So this is a little bigger, probably a 3T. Um, yeah, so this is a chin for him. It's with Encore, I believe. It's a, um, I want to say it's like 75, 25 acrylic wool. She sent me the tag. Do you think I have it? Odds are that. It's riding around the bottom of my knitting bag. Perhaps, maybe not. Right? No, that's my tag. Well, she gave me the tag. Ooh, ooh. No. This is a card. <laughs> to, to run them in love from Grant. But I do not see the. Okay, this is my last effort. No. No. Who knows? Anyways, it's mainly acrylic, and she was a little concerned about that, but I was like, he's two. He's not two. He's 15 months. <laughs> Can you tell it's the end of a long day? Um, yeah, so acrylic is perfect. Actually, the acrylic blanket I knit for him is the one that goes to daycare most often and that goes through the dryer without me even thinking about it. So it's much easier for care if you are knitting for a busy mom with little ones. So cables. So yeah, um, the pattern, in case you're wondering, I don't know. Maybe you can help me with this and send it to me in the show. Put a comment on the show notes. I know she watches. Um, she has a bunch of Aaron knitting books, Aaron pattern knitting books, and um, I know this came from one of them, but I'm not sure which one it is. So, I'll link it in the show notes when I get it. How about that? So, depending on when you see this, there may already be a link. So, and it's a cute baby blue, not baby blue, but a great blue that matches his eyes. So, that's her cabley goodness. Should we jump into my cabley goodness, or should we save some cabley goodness for the end? Oh, the choices we have. Let's not. Let's talk about, um, I'm sitting next to my Erin Lane bag here, full of goodness. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. It may be late, but I am in a good mood, I will tell you that. And I am mid-row, so that makes this a little bit difficult to show you. But this is the Harvest Moon cardigan by Heidi Kermier. Kermier? can't say your name. I'm sorry, Heidi. I try. I butcher. Um, this is knit on US size 7 with Miss Babs Yowza. What a skein. In the Homestead colorway, which I highly recommend. It is a gorgeous color. Sometimes variegated and worsted weight for a sweater. It's just a little too loud for what I want to wear, but not this. This is great. So you could see last time we talked, I had just like one row past the armholes. I motored along. I've got about, oh, three inches here down past the armholes. I think I have to go six or seven until I do something again. So I'm just going along. And um, I talked before about this really cool edging. It's not an applied I-cord, but it's, it 
it has a really cool edge on it anyways. And I am how many inches would you say that is? 16 or so along? I just memorized the edging. And it's so stupid because it's so simple to memorize. It's, it's one of those things where you look at something and you look at it and look at it and look at it. And like the 50th time you look at it, you're like, oh, light bulb, I get it. So it's much easier. I can knit on it without, you know, double checking everything. I brought it with me to see the James Bond movie, Skyfall. Daniel Craig is the epitome of all things wonderful. He's not my favorite Bond, but I have seen all the Bonds. I know, I know, I know. How did I get here? Go back. Anyways, Daniel Craig, I really like him. So I knit on it during that, and um, it was good. I lost one of my stitch markers there. Um, the hide and sheep stitch markers, her needle huggers, she doesn't make them anymore. I bought oodles of them and they seem to all be for size 2 needles because I had thought I was knitting socks and I thought they were all, anyways, <laughs> I only have a couple sets that fit for um, worsted larger weight needles and I dropped one of them in the theater and so after the show Steve and I are down there like almost on our hands and knees looking for the stitch marker. We found it amongst all popcorn. It had rolled out into the aisle. Anyways. But that's how this is going. So I love having a stockinette simple project on the needles that, well, it, I mean, it has complicated parts, but right now I'm in a simple part that I can just go back and forth. And, you know, the rows are not exorbitantly long like they were during the yoke, just like making me insane. So that's that. Oh, so I have two skeins of it. Here's the untouched skein. And here's how far I am in this one. So I bet I can get another three or four inches out of this. And then we'll be switching over this one. So I think that's great considering at the armhole, I'll probably make it eight inches. When this runs out, I will want to do another ten. And then the sleeves with whatever's left. I'm going to do them both at the same time. And or maybe I'll do one and weigh it before I start. When I get halfway, use the other. Anyways, that's how that's going. Yeah. Yes! Sweater knitting! Oh. <laughs> um, also, on the needles, so I was worried about the timing of finishing the socks for Mame for my mom for Christmas, right? And as you know, I finished the first one. Well, first I knit roll in a pair. Then I <laughs> knit my mom the first one. So here's the first one. Done. Da, da, da. You can see there are one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight navy blue sections. And then I took what I had left and I used my ball winder to skein it up and I counted the number of blue sections that spun by me and there were six. Six. That would put me here. That's not a matched pair. So I quickly placed an order, had it would knit picks for one more skein, had it two days, and it should be here in the next couple days. Okay, I placed the order today. <laughs> I thought I placed it on Saturday, but I never got a confirmation, so I'm pretty sure I, and I checked my credit card, wasn't showing up, I didn't get an email, so I placed it today, got the email immediately, like, I know it's good to go today. So, yeah, I wanted to use every last bit of this yarn, and then I had to buy more. So, Lesson learned, lesson learned. So that's how much I have left. I cast on the first sock and started going as fast as I can because ultimately I have half a fingerless mitt to go, which is an evening, and then this sock, and then Christmas is done, and it's December 10th, and I want to be done, and I want to be knitting on my sweaters and designing the new hat to match my new winter coat, and I don't want to be Christmas knitting. I want to be done with that. Or if I'm Christmas knitting, I want to be Christmas knitting for next year. <laughs> I just, I want this off my plate so I can check it off my list because this one is the only one I have left to go for Christmas shopping. Everyone else is bought for. Ah, she's so hard to shop for sometimes. Anyway, so this is where I'm at. So I've done almost four of the navy sections. So and not much left. Not a lot left. But anyways, so it's going. Haven't started the gusset increases, but I'm getting close. I think another two inches inch and a half, two inches, and I'll start that. Yes, she does wear a size 10, 10 and a half. 
shoes. <laughs> well, she says she wears 10, but if she puts on my 11s, she mistakenly walks off with them. So it's kind of funny. She did that once with our, we both wear uh, dance coat clogs, a lot of clogs, and she took my black pair home with her. So it was funny. What else am I working on? So before, well, um, I haven't really touched the vanilla bean socks this week, so I'm just going to flash it quick. Maybe it even looks like it's in the same place to you, but there you go. I um, This is my car knitting, purse knitting, work knitting, line at Dunkin' knitting. I had to put it aside to make myself focus on the socks from May because I'd really rather knit the vanilla bean socks, but I'm focusing on other things, right? And then when I'm at home and I still have a brain left, there are two things I'm working on. Two things. Two things. Uh, <laughs> first up is the beatnik which is for um the hollywood knitter hollywood knitter and watch us watching podcasts they're doing a knit along together and i'm loving this pattern so this is by nora Go gogan um it was it's a free knit pattern so check it out it's totally worth it um the charts are the cables are colored color coded which is great i am on my fourth cable repeat fourth time through the chart and I've got it pretty much memorized I, I mean I have to follow oh what am I doing in this row but I don't have to look up what each of the symbols represents so that's awesome and you can pretty much read at least for me I can read in my knitting and see what's coming next where is this cable headed that type of stuff so you can see there's some pretty drastic waist decreasing there I'm going to read the pattern I took out an extra four stitches so on this four stitches, it's going to be about an inch. After I took them out and realized what I had done and that I needed to knit another six inches, inches before six inches before I started uh, bust increases, I immediately put them back in, increased again. So you can see there's a bloop, bloop, but blocking will take that bad boy out if I need to. And I this is the back, so I won't plan on doing that for the front. So. It is what it is. I was not going to rip back 12 rows of cabling by the time I figured it out. 12 rows of cabling just to change <coughs> some decreases in the seed stitch. It wasn't going to help. So, live and learn. Don't do that. <laughs> um, this is Divine Zenith. Discontinued yarn, not one of their colors. This was over dyed, or this was dyed by someone else. Um, very very splitty yarn but i'm working with it i'm doing okay this is knit on us size eight and i will be over dyeing it um when i finish so i'm getting not bored but i was thinking about next time i'm like oh i want to do something mindless normally when i would grab a sock if i don't grab a sock i think i will grab one of my other skeins of this and um, do some little swatches so i can test dyeing because I do need to see how it's going to react. The other thing I was thinking is, um, for more mindless knitting once Mime socks are done, will be, I, the sleeves are knit separate, and I'm pretty sure that they're just the seed stitch. I think it's seed, maybe it's moss. It's a, a every other, but then it's two rows, two rows, two rows, so I think that's moss. I think seed is every row you're doing the opposite, and this isn't that. So I think it's moss stitch. But, um, so I was thinking I could do the sleeves, because I know I have plenty of yarn. Well, I wasn't sure I had plenty of yarn, but seeing how much I've used thus far, and this is the back, I should be fine. I should be fine. So I might test out the sleeves, too. So I might have a back panel and a sleeve going at the same time. So, And that's in my Busy Minds Design Bag. So, um, and then lastly on the needles, when I have a brain this week, I've been working on, like I said, designing a sweater. So I've been um, using socks that rock, which I really like knitting sport weight hats. For some reason, that's the right weight for a hat for me. Worsted is just too heavy. I've never knit a sport. Well, I've knit a, a fingering weight hat for Roland, not for an adult. And I really just don't want to do that. So, oh, no, that's not the right tag. See, my, it's living with, uh, I have two projects in one bag, which I really don't recommend. 
because then you end up end up pulling out things that you don't intend to and tangling everything up. I can't tell you. Okay, I'm going to make it up. Ready, set, go. No. <laughs> so this is Socks That Rock in the medium weight. I got this at Rhinebeck one year. I don't know which year. I believe. I am like 99% sure here, people, that this is, the, which is what I was looking at, this is the Jubilation color way, which is really like a deep variegated eggplant aubergine color. Um, so this is what I have so far. I've got this cool brim going on. It's a pretty deep brim. And then I'm working up through the body of it right now. Um, really what I'm shooting for, for myself, when I wear a hat, I like some sort of detail over here. Like, that's what I tend to knit for hats. So for this, I looked around at what's popular right now, and I'm going to do some ruching, some really sort of scrunched up knitting right here so that it looks all gathered, and then the rest of it is kind of poofy and brayish, if that makes sense to you, because my hands tell the story. So um, I would say I am um, probably a third of the way through so far. So. When I'm done, I'm going to release the pattern and I'll publish it, so that'll be exciting. Maybe we'll do a nail on for that. Who knows? Um, yeah, and I'm also going to do a second one. So I'm, I'm kind of on a hat kick right now, a well, sweater hat kick, and I just like to turn out a few more designs. I used to design a lot. I've had a couple published patterns, um, and I've a few self-published patterns. I'd like to get some more out there because I feel like it's a really great way to just give back to the knitting community. And like this past week, I was gifted, um, a designer gifted me her pattern, Megan of uh, Stockinette Zombies, Megan Williams, gifted me her Party Up, Partying, Partying It Up and Getting Down. For some reason, I can never say that I want to be like, Party Up, Party Down, but that's not what it is. So she gifted me her pattern, which was a really nice thing to get. So I would like to be able to do that as well. So does that make sense? I don't know. It does in my head, in my brain. So, um, and thank you, Megan, for that, for that gift. <laughs> and also, thank you to everybody. You know, it was my birthday a couple weeks ago, and I really appreciated all the well-wishing and patterns I received. I also want to say thank you to um, Knit N.A. Kim... VA? <laughs> I'm thinking she's saying she's knitting, I don't know, she's in Virginia maybe? <laughs> uh, she gifted me the Magra Bia, so thank you very much for that. Another shawl pattern. I'm sort of on a pause with shawls right now, but maybe that's the motivation I need to get back into doing it. Martina Bim, her stuff is beautiful and it's pretty straightforward and, I don't know, it's a little bit of an autopilot with her. So. Anyways, I am designing hats right now. I'm on a kick. It may have something to do with my new job. I'm not going to deny that fact. That's probably when I did the most designing was when I was um, working on the apparel line of things. So, and now I'm back in a different position, but back to apparel. And it's just, it's really hard not to get motivated by all the beautiful things you see around you all day long. Because, let's face it, shoes never motivated me. Men's shoes. So. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Long, long story, long ramble for you just to tell you that I'm designing a hat. Look for it in the new year. And then, last but not least, I am thrilled. Guys, thank you so much. I threw it out there, the idea of doing a knit along, and you all jumped on it. So I am psyched. I would love to do a knit along, a sweater knit along, like something substantial. Let's really sink our teeth into this. Um, the Consensus on the group is that January 1st would be a good time to start. There are, I would say, five front runners, five front runner patterns right now, and the, um, the biggest one, that, or the one that people are saying the most, ooh yeah, that's what I want to do, is the dark and stormy. All oh, these pictures. That's probably not the greatest one to zoom in on. So it's again more cable-y goodness. Let me in. Let me add it. So, I don't know if you can see that, but the cable is down the back. I'm hoping you can. Um, and it has a nice big shawl collar on the back. So, get in the group. There's a forum called, uh, a thread called Knit Along. Go vote for what you want to work on. Dark and Stormy is one of them. 
Uh, the other one that sort of spoke to me the most, uh, because it's a fingering weight sweater, which I've never done. Oh, hopefully you didn't see the pajama bottoms. And that is the uh, Flaming June pattern. This one is a free pattern, and it's a two-color pattern. So I kind of like that. You know, the fingering weight. Everybody's got a ton of it in their stash. I think I have two sweaters quantities of that. Um, third is the Park Avenue. I don't want to. I don't want to lead people one direction, which is. I believe another free one. Very straightforward, simple, would look great on every body type, that one. It, the, really the ribbing is the detail on that, but I love the big color. So there's the Park Avenue. I hope you guys can see this. And if you can't, then you have to go to the thread and click on everything and look at it. Um, Acer is another one. Oh, it's a Kristen Kapoor out there. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I met her at SSK. She's so much fun to be around. So a yoked sweater it looks to be worsted weight. Pretty straightforward pattern right there. Um, the water and stone. Okay, so that one was a for pay. This is also a for pay, but you know, it's nominal. It's five bucks. And it's totally worth it. If you're going to put all the energy into knitting a sweater, what's, it, what's your latte? Just spend your latte money and buy a powder. So that is the water and stone. And the dryer is now done. <laughs> this one is Iced, which um, is one that was in my queue. This is by Carol Feller, another free pattern. I think my mother-in-law suggested Carol Feller to me. But I like that one. Um, and then lastly, another one that's from my queue, another Kaylee Goodness, Quercus. Wear cuffs. Oh boy. Don't you love me? Cardigan. <laughs> this is a great, it's a, more of a tunic like um, cabled cardigan. It's got great cardigans on the up, uh, cardigans, great cables on the front, a shawl collar, shorter length sleeves, and then a cable halfway down the back. So I, I'm guessing that cable down the back would do a lot of the waist shaping for you. And that one's a worsted weight as well. So go vote on the forums. Let's do this. Oh my god, it would be so exciting to do a big now on before together. I know in the past we've done baby sweaters, maybe socks. We've done a few things. It's been a really long time since I felt the motivation to like, okay, let's jump in together. So let's hold hands and join it along and I'll rustle up some prizes and it'll be awesome. So, um, yeah, in the meantime... I may not see you before now in the holidays, and if I don't, oh, happy Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah to those of you out there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be, you know, one way, because um, we do, yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope you're enjoying the month of December, not feeling too stressed, getting your knitting time in, and I will talk to you in about 10 days. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs>